so nervous right now what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i haven't been on here in so long i said this the last video i'm pretty sure i haven't even watched my last video but i have been having a really crazy end of the year but before we get into all of that these are press-ons, period, period, period. I am going to be doing a contact haul with you guys from April I. I had a mini relapse, I guess that's what you can say. Not with weed, not with alcohol, but with a person, okay? Before we get into that, let me show you guys all these contacts that I got. A lot of you guys always ask where I get my contacts, and this is like the main company that I work with. This is from April I. They gave me some Tipsy Blue, Tipsy Gray, Deep Throat Green, Himalaya Brown, Taylor Green, and Himalaya Gray. Himalaya Gray is always a hit, my favorite. I'm gonna put these in some solution and I'm gonna take off these nails and then let's, let's get into some tea, okay? Some deep, deep stuff. Like, I didn't even know that I was still feeling this way, but God will prune you and he will reveal to you what you need to work on in the broken times of your life. He is going to show you and that's where I'm at right now. But let me take these press-ons off because I just cracked my toe. Let me take these press-ons off and put all of these in some solution. These are so cute though, like... I feel way more feminine with these on, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. These are with the Himalaya Grey on. My little relapse, you guys. Let me tell you guys. I feel like after my panic attack, I was getting scared and I didn't really know how to deal with my pain. God has just been showing me how I've been handling situations and I try to find comfort in a person. Okay, so me going through this scary moment of a panic attack my daughter's dad came to town like two months ago i felt comfort you know i felt cool i was like wow my panic attacks are gone but it was still a lot of verbal abuse with him i was basically letting myself down again okay let me take these contacts off so I can show you guys another color. I'm just trying to be super transparent with you guys because I know there's girls out there that struggle with their ex-partners, their baby dads, because they're trying to find love, okay? So anywho, months go by and we're still communicating and I'm still, you know, going on my walk with God and I'm still learning how to deal with my pain. I'm not really knowing how to deal with my pain. And I get into mental health and it helps me for a little bit and then my daughter's dad plans to come out and see me again and i'm like oh my goodness okay okay i'm gonna try the tipsy blue now it should be cool we've been communicating like maybe this maybe this is it you know maybe things are gonna go good and we're gonna be good you know long story short he comes to town i just fall back i don't know how else to say this but i fell back for him for the manipulation you know for the dreams that he wanted to be a family and all this stuff and i i fell you know i fell back and in my head deep down in my head i'm like why why did i do this to myself i already know this is not the way like i already know deep down inside like this is just not this is not for me. This is not it. Okay, I'm going to put these on and I'll be right back. It just takes a long time to put these back on, so I'll be right back. Yeah, so he comes to town and my feelings just get involved again. Then I'm like, I'm back in square one. Just crying and apologizing to God. Like, I'm so sorry for going back. I just felt so much guilt and so much shame, you know? I felt so worthless. I started feeling very insecure about myself. I started feeling very lost. And I'm like, what is going on with me? Like, I thought I was over this guy. I thought I was healing. But then I'm like, why did I go back to this? Why? But it's because when I go through pain, I go to other people for comfort. I've never been been alone and right now i'm in a season where god is trying to tell me that i gotta heal and i gotta rely on him anyway i'm going through these motions with him and i'm crying my eyeballs out in front of my daughter's dad like basically begging for a family i feel like a clown <laughs> i'll be right back let me take these off i 
I don't know. I got super attached because he was shopping, you know, materialistic things. He was doing materialistic things. And to see my daughters interact with him, it made me super happy. I'm just like, wow, I miss this, you know, like I want a family. But then I started seeing sides of him that reminded me why I left. My flesh and my spirit were talking to each other inside of me and I was just witnessing it all. I see both sides on why I want it because I want a family but then I see that he's not what I'm looking for in a man I guess. I know I want a family. I know I want a man in my life but is this the type of person that I'm going to settle for? And I was really at this place of self-reflecting when I was with him. Okay, he's here for a week. Okay, and I'm just begging for him to stay and to come to church and it's just not Nothing is going my way. I'm like, okay, God. Okay, God. Like, I'm just so sorry for doing all this, you know I'm sorry and when he was he when he was here I was just crying and crying and crying and he's like, why are you crying? Like like, why am I crying? You live in a whole different state and you come here for a week and you show us what you've been doing and you're buying us all these things but then you're at the end of the day like you're still gonna leave us. It hurt me. Me and my kids have to face that. And I'm just like, whatever. I'm gonna pass this. I'm gonna get through this. Um, everything's gonna be okay. So in my mind when he's here, I'm like, Selena, we cannot go through this again. Why are you putting yourself through more pain when you need to heal through this other pain like when you need to learn to be alone when you need to learn to just rely on god next i'm gonna try on these tipsy tipsy graves so i'll be right back and i hope i remember where i left off okay where i left off is he's leaving and i'm crying basically begging for him to stay and he doesn't want to stay he's going back to his city i'm in this self-reflection mode and hurting and crying and praying to god to help me get through this also i'm also scared to face myself when he leaves but i'll be right back okay here is the tipsy gray one i thought i wasn't gonna show in my eyes but it actually it does a little so let me put the other one back on but i wanted to show you guys like the the difference anywho back to my little story so he's going back to town and mind you our lifestyles are completely different he's living a lifestyle that i used to live and i'm trying to do things a different way just keep that in mind okay so then oh yeah there was some some messy stuff i did when he was here trying to test him to see if he's talking to other girls and just doing toxic stuff doing things that i know like I, why like why am i doing this this is my old self like why am i doing this he goes back home okay i was actually okay with myself the texting is just not what it is he doesn't answer my calls as often and I'm just like, Selena, what are you doing? Like, you're worth more than this. Please stop hurting yourself. I'm going through these conversations with myself and I'm journaling and I'm like, I don't want this. This is not fair for me and my kids. For someone to just come here, spend time with us for a little bit and just playing these games. Like, what I want in a relationship is someone that's gonna respect me and my children and we're gonna do this together. Not we're gonna do it separate, then we're gonna come together. I wanna be one with someone, you know? I wanna grow together. I wanna do godly things together. I wanna go to church together. I wanna be a family. That's not what he was giving. I don't even wanna speak bad upon this man, but I'm just like, this is not what I want. Let me put this in real. I have a conversation with him. I'm like, I can't do this. For one, I don't trust you, you know? like you cheated on me you'll never admit it but i've seen things that i didn't want to see before my trust was gone it's just not good we gotta do things for my baby at this point i just sent him a message like i can't do this it's unfair to me to my kids that you just come for a little bit then you just leave it's confusing and when i ask for not even reassurance but like i have discernment okay and i just know when you just know you just know so i sent him a message like let me just find my peace and then he tries calling and then texting and I'm like, I just can't. I know deep, deep down my spirit is telling me that this is just not it. It's so heartbreaking. We're just having conversations, like going back and forth and him like just saying certain things to me and me saying things back to him and it's just toxic it's unhealthy and it almost made me go back to my old lifestyle and just you know what bet like i can run my money up like let me run my money up i'm about to just run my money up and show you you know just because i'm choosing a different lifestyle right now you want to downplay me and it's just like 
bet like i'm gonna run my money up real quick and i'm gonna show you you know because when we first met i was a dancer and i had money i was never relying on a guy now at this point in my life i'm trying to do things god's way the righteous way i'm actually enrolling in school so that's a big goal that i have for next year i'm being consistent in my job i have never been this consistent in a working job i'm going to therapy and i'm just learning you know i'm learning to be consistent i'm learning to have discipline and that doesn't mix with that lifestyle you know what i'm saying so i almost went back i almost went back because i was trying to prove my point to this man so we're back i'm gonna take these off real quick okay these are the taylor green these are the last ones i'm gonna try on because the uh, the brown ones they're not hitting because my eyes are already brown so <sighs> i'm at this point where i'm like I'm about to get my money up. This guy got me messed up. Like, he really, he doesn't know who I am. You know, like, he's not, he forgot who I was. That's how he made me feel. Like, he made me feel insecure. He made me feel worthless. I'm like, I need to step my game up. I'm about to go back to what I know. And while I was thinking that I was getting anxiety already, trying to go back to the life that I used to live. What if something happens? What if this? I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. And then I'm like, God, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. I'm not designer drip down. Like, I don't, I don't have all this stuff that this guy has, you know? I used to. I used to be able to do that. But now, God, while I'm serving you, I, I don't have this stuff anymore. So, I need to go back because I need to show him, you know? That, that was my mindset. Time was going by. In that midst of me talking to God, I'm like, God, save me because I'm about to go savage mode. I'm about to like self-destruct at this point because no, I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to feel so low. I don't want to feel like I don't have a lot of money because I can't buy myself designer and I can't do all of these things that my daughter's dad's doing. I can't because I'm choosing this lifestyle with you. It's hard for me to do both. So help me, you know, save me, God, like bring people my way, you know, because I'm about to go down this ugly path. Then I get a message from a friend and they're like, hey, how have you been? I'm like, oh. I don't want to hear that God talk right now. You know that I'm like, I don't want to hear this. I'm like, I'm good. Like good. Like just living this Christian life, like walking the path. It's very difficult on this side. And they're all like, all right, bet we need to talk. When you're planning on going a different direction and someone's trying to tell you to do right, you don't want to listen to it. But I'm like, you know what? Let me see what's up. So having a conversation and you know, I'm telling this person like everything that I'm going through. I'm so grateful for this person. They're just like, it's easy to do that, but we already know that's not, that's not God's plan. And god doesn't want us to be broke god wants us to prosper they're telling me that they met christians that have a lot of money and they're not flexing all this designer stuff it inspired that person that person was speaking life into me the bible says someone could be speaking life or death into you this person was speaking life into me leading me back on god's path because i was about to go the opposite way i promise you and this person is like god is not just gonna give you all this money at once he wants to know that you're really there for him he wants to see you you know like basically saying he wants to see if you're gonna be faithful to him and i'm like you're right you're so right god sent this person my way because this was god's way this is the way i was about to go and i'm like thank you lord it helped me get back on track and this person's like that's what it means to carry your cross denying yourself i'm choosing to live god's way because i already know when i was living the other way it was not helping me i was so broken inside and now i'm broken but i know better's coming because i'm choosing god then the thoughts come again the devil is a liar the devil is a disgusting deceitful liar i swear to you like the devil is a liar like i rebuke you satan right now the devil is just a liar days are going by i'm just there i'm just like god this is hard sitting here watching people on social media it all distracts you you know what let me just get off social media right now i need to refocus i just gotta sit here i've been journaling so much just writing my feelings out. lord help me i'm seeing what my mindset is and lord he heal me send me people more friends are coming and texting me and encouraging me and uplifting me i'm like okay cool yesterday i was just laying in my bed i got home from work and i'm just like why am i so alone i don't like to feel lonely i know what i want i want a man of god someone that's not in the world someone that's that loves god i want that and i'm striving for that and now i'm pushing for that those thoughts still do come back oh text your daughter no i can't 
I have to capture those thoughts. That's when that scripture comes in. You got to captivate the thoughts and submit them to Christ. Have them obey Christ. Like, no, God, take that thought. Take that thought for me because I want a man of God. And I'm praying that my daughter's dad gets saved. I'm praying. I pray that we can come to terms for our daughter. I pray for him. I really do. Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen. I just, I got to pray for him. We're just in two different lifestyles right now. I'm trying to be the best woman I can be for God. And I just know what I want in a man. And I want a man of God, someone that's going to, love both my kids like their own someone that's gonna take charge of our family with god's word i'm living for that and i know i gotta heal within myself to be able to get that i know that's just mandatory and i gotta be patient right now i'm in a place where i gotta build that relationship with jesus i build that relationship with god i gotta love god more than i love anyone back to what i was saying i was laying in my bed and i'm like lord i'm lonely i'm just here mad because i'm alone like I'm, I'm alone i don't want to be alone i've never faced this version of me of being alone i never wanted to face this version of me ever in my life god is gonna bless me god will bless me but right now i gotta heal it's helping me like okay selena we gotta work on your physical being we gotta work on your spiritual being and we gotta work on the mental so i'm like what can i do right now to make me feel better you know what i'm gonna go to the gym so i went to the gym yesterday i went to the gym for like two hours nobody can steal that from me nobody can steal you from you nobody and i'm like all right god it's just me and you i go to the park and i'll write and i'll journal and then i'll do like a christian meditation and then i went to the gym and i'm like you know what i gotta drink more water my little cousins inspired me to do dear future self letter so i'm gonna do that tomorrow and i'm not gonna read it until next year because i am so excited to see where i'm about to go i'm learning to be so patient i'm learning to be consistent and i'm learning discipline things i've never i've always jumped from job to job guide to guide i'm gonna keep finding i'm gonna keep finding but sometimes we just gotta be still we just gotta be still and let god and we gotta take care of ourselves as long as we got god nothing could break us nothing nothing no weapon formed against us shall prosper like nothing can break us if we got god like nothing and i'm striving for that i got a lot of goals for myself that i'm gonna be writing down i'm praying that god will give me his strength on my hardest days like lord give me your strength today feel me like i need your strength but yeah this is the last video of the year you guys i'm excited i'm not gonna watch this video till next year because i am a mess i just needed to be transparent with you guys because i know there's people out there that go through the same thing as me social media likes to put on this facade and nobody's perfect i'm not perfect i had a little relapse with my daughter dad whoopee yay drop it gotta pick my cross back up and i gotta keep going gotta keep pushing gotta keep pursuing god's will in my life this scripture came to me today because i was praying like god speak to me and if you ask for god to speak to you he will speak to you this is from the bible app and this scripture that i got today it really hit the spot psalms 32 8 it says the lord says i will guide you along the best pathway for your life i will advise you and watch over you whenever the self-doubt comes whenever those disgusting thoughts come i capture them i captivate them i give them to god and this is a scripture that i replace and it says i will guide you along the best pathway for your life i will advise you and watch over you i'm just like that thank you lord Whew, that's gonna be it for my video you guys thank you guys for watching i really hope this helped you guys i'm sorry i am a mess right now i'm such but we all are we all are you know and sometimes we're all gonna fall but we gotta pick ourselves back up like we got this you got this you got this we're gonna have a great year we're gonna have a great year in jesus name i am speaking that i am blessing that on all your guys' life we're gonna have a blessed year god is gonna do great things i am so excited to see myself next year by doing the things god wants me to do we're all learning every day i love you guys i hope you guys have a blessed year i'm praying for you guys every single day i'm praying for myself fight the good fight okay Love you guys. I'll see you guys next year. That's so cliche. Okay, bye.